presented by Monteith's Best One Tire and Auto Care. Welcome to Friday Night Football. Drew, you mentioned earlier tonight, I think Melissa said the same thing. We are halfway through the high school football season here in Indiana already. So welcome to week whatever it is. I'm just kidding. I know it's week five. I'm Matt Locke, joined by Drew Sanders. Yeah, we're not looking too far ahead to the postseason here at 16 Sports, at least not yet. There's still plenty of great games here in Michigan left to get to. And as always, we start with our game of the week. It's a pair of three and one teams scoring off at Father Bly Field. New Prairie and South Bend St. Joe are going back and forth all night. We'll start in the third quarter. Cougars up by a field goal. They march down the field and punch one in with their QB. Marshall Kamichik helping extend their lead. Now it's 29-19. St. Joe drives down to respond. They make it to the red zone, but on a crucial snap, they fumble the exchange. New Prairie falls on it. The Cougars allowed to chew up some more clock late in this one, but they don't come away with any more points. Now, St. Joe made some great plays through the air in this game. Fourth quarter, they find their way down the field and toss a perfect pass to narrow the gap to just three points. They're down 29-26 with just minutes left to play. Cougars, though, able to chew up the clock from there and escape with a win. Here's the last play from St. Joe as they try to lateral it away, but not able to come up with much yardage. New Prairie escapes with a win, 29-26. Here's their head coach after the game. It's a great feeling. Uh, we got we got a lot of work to do. They're a really good football team. You could see it on the film coming into this game. So yeah, it's a great win. I just told our young men like we have a lot of work to do. There's a lot of places that we need to grow. But in the end, um, the best time to learn lessons and to get better is after a win. Uh, that feels a heck of a lot better. But we have a lot of work that, that we got to take care of still. Looking at some other scores within the NIC, Jimtown takes the win over Bremen, and Marion gets back on track after dropping their last couple of games. They win 13-6 over South Bend Adams at home. Well, hope you like defense. There was plenty of it in this next one. Elkhart on the road at Penn. Elkhart 1-3, and three, Penn 3-1, three and one, but you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at this one. Neither team getting much going on offense. Here's the Kingsman's Brandon Lynch breaking through for a QB takedown. We saw quite a few of those in this one. In fact, that's not the only one we saw from Lynch. Here he is again later in the first quarter, tearing through that Elkhart O-line for a drive ending sack. Now the Lions didn't make it easy on the other end either. They forced Penn into a third and long later in the half. Kingsman tried the screen pass with some misdirection, but Elkhart's all over that when they swarm in for another tackle for loss. Neither side scored a single point in the first half, but Penn would find some offense late to win this one. Final score, 21 to nothing. And again, looking at some more scores from the NIC, John Glenn versus Knox. Knox with a big win at home, 37-8. Meanwhile, South Bend Riley took a long road trip to Indy, Washington. But they come away with the W, 46-6. Yeah, good thing that loss for Glenn, not exactly a conference loss, so won't hurt him too much in the conference standings. We'll go through the entire NIC standings later in the week and see who's still in the mix for a conference title. Yeah, and another conference we have our eye on here in Michiana is the Northern Lakes Conference. So it's my turn. <laughs> we head out to Warsaw, where it is Northwood and Warsaw. Tigers up 7-0 this one. Regardless of what happens, is going to play an impact on conference standings, at least share of the title. Mm -hmm. Owen Raider fires one to the right. Only Nitro Tuggle can make this catch. Oh Sensational one-handed grab. Odell Beckham, who have to slow it down for you. Georgia's got a good one. Oh, they're they're gonna get a good receiver over in Athens. This one's not a touchdown, but you know there's a lot of yardage and it's gonna take two guys to bring down Nitro Tuggle. Late in the first, Panthers tied it up at seven. Tigers looking to extend the lead, but they did the opposite. Quint on Brock tries the lofty pass, but Keith Miller plucks it out of the air, takes it to the house, diving for the pylon, pick six. Panthers defense coming up big. It's 14 to seven. Second quarter, Tigers looking to even it up with the run game, and they do just that. The triple option, faking out defenders, faking out the cameraman. Don't worry, it happens to me too. Reed Zollringer trots into the end zone, untouched for the score. Trust us, even though you didn't see it, untouched. 14-0 the score. Later, Northwood in the half. Tigers up by three. Panthers on the Warsaw, one. Landon Perry taking the handoff, forcing himself in. Northwood taking the lead, but Warsaw takes the win. 45-21, Northwood held quiet for most of the rest of the game. Some more scores in the NLC. Northridge getting a big win, 43-6 over Goshen. Mishawaka doing the same, getting a big win over Plymouth, 42-6. Next, we go to Concord out at Jake Field. They're hosting the Wawa Sea Warriors. Started off with a QB runner, Brock Brunner, Bo Brunner, excuse me, faking the handoff. Short pass to Torin Day, who makes a great running, breaking a tackle. For the score, Concord student section partying. 
Next kickoff, Wawa sees Hunter Tiki. Takes it, and it's always dangerous at the high school game when you decide to run it out. Sometimes it pays mm -hmm. off like it did here. He's going to break a few tackles, and when he gets to the sideline, that's trouble. Not quite a touchdown. Fortunately, they knock him out of bounds, but it is a big game. Uh, figure out uh, how we do that again, because we're going to need some <laughs> more of that. No points come of it. Bo Brunner back on offense. This time he hands it off to Jerron Thomas, and Jerron Thomas Oof. takes it all the way. I'll show you how to score while I see. There you go. Taking it to the end zone. Concord getting the win. 52-0 wow. over the Warriors. Well, it's halftime here at WNDU and Friday Night Football. We're going to take a quick break, but do not go anywhere. Yeah, more action from the Hoosier State.